Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do quadratic equations but more specifically we are going to do quadratic equations with taking out a common. Now the difference between grade 9 solve for x and grade 10, 11 and 12 solve for x is that in grade 10, 11 and 12 we usually end up with a case of x to the power 2. These are called quadratic equations. Now when you have a quadratic equation, the power of 2 usually tells you that you are going to get two answers. If I got x to the power 3, I'd have three answers. x to the power 4, I'd have, x, uh, I'd have four answers. Now, x to the power 2 would mean two answers. Take the following example. If I gave you x, y is equal to 0, there are two things that can make this equation true. If I said x is equal to 0, and I put 0 into x, I'd have 0 times y, which is equal to 0. Or I could have said y is equal to 0. If I put y as 0, I'd have 0 times x, which would equal to 0. So both answers are correct. Let's do another one. If I gave you pq is equal to 0, I could say p is equal to 0 or q is equal to 0. Making both the concepts correct. Now how do we go about solving equations that are quadratic? As soon as you see x to the power of 2, the first step is to make it equal to 0. That is a major difference between linear and quadratic. Linear equations you always made x's on one side and numbers on the other side. After you make it equal to 0, if it is more than one term. Then only do you simplify. Then you factorize. And you start solving. Right. Let's take the following example. If you were given x squared is equal to 11x. Now I need to make it equal to 0. So I'm going to bring it all over to one side which will give me x squared minus 11x is equal to 0. If it's more than one term then I can simplify but this is in its simplest form. There's no brackets in the question. So I start factorizing. Now factorizing our five basic rules, take out a common, trinomials, difference of two squares, cubes, grouping. This rule we're going to work with is take out a common. So I'm left with x minus 11. Once we have this, now we're going to equate. The rule says make the first part equal to 0, make the second part equal to 0. So therefore, x would equal to 0 and x minus 11 is equal to 0. Once you equate it to 0, if you need to solve, you need to continue. So here I'm going to say, so to complete this question, I'm going to say x is equal to 11. At this stage, it is a linear equation. Once you equate it and you solve, you are busy with linear equations. Let's do the following example. x minus 2, x plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, it is already equal to 0. They've done that step for you. Is it more than one term? No, it's only one term. So we don't need to simplify. Be careful, this is a common mistake. Many children, when they're at this stage, they simplify and then they go back and they factorize and then they do it wrong. So once it's already more, if it's already one term, leave it alone. Now factorize means make brackets, but it's already factorized for you. So all you have to do is solve. Equate each bracket to zero. Now solve it. x is equal to 2 and x is equal to minus 4. I am again re-emphasizing. 
We do not do this. Get rid of brackets. And then we end up with x squared plus 2x minus 8. And then we factorize and guess what we end up with? x minus 2, x plus 4. You're back where you started. So when you have more than one term, we simplify. But when you don't have more than one term, when it is only one term, leave it alone. And solve it, equate it, and solve. Thank you for watching.